Welcome to Workflow Powerbox introduction video. We'll show you the major features of this amazing Jira add-on. Let's start with templates, a new approach to workflow development. In our video we have an exemplary service support workflow. It contains a lot of transitions. Let's look at answer to first line transition. We can see it contains 8 conditions grouped into logical groups. We already spent some time to develop and test them, but we have more similar transitions. Now we have to configure answer to second line transition. It requires the same condition set as the previous one. Let's add all necessary conditions. Adding conditions one by one is a pretty annoying activity, but it's also time-consuming and error-prone. In our case, we had to enter all eight conditions from scratch all over again. Can you imagine what would happen if you needed to change any condition in all of the transitions? So it's time to add our condition set to another transition, then test it and... But we can do it with condition templates. It's a powerful feature of Workflow Powerbox. First, let's find condition templates in the menu. We can see a list of active and inactive templates. Let's click Add Template to create a new one. Now, we enter the template name and an optional description. Then, click the Add button to create an empty template. Click Add Condition and select appropriate condition from the list, the same as in Workflow Transition. Some conditions can be partially compatible or incompatible with templates. They are marked with a yellow or red sign accordingly. For most of them, Workflow Powerbox delivers great substitutes. Condition templates allow you to inverse condition result. It extends Jira possibility by adding accept type condition checks. Just click an exclamation icon to inverse a condition. As we previously connected the template to Active Workflow, we need to publish changes in the same way as in Jira workflows. We have another Review Approval for Service Support template. It contains two conditions. First one is to disallow transition if current user previously moved the issue to in review status. Second one allows transition only for third level support role members. Now let's go back to Jira workflow and edit it. There we have an approved solution transition. It's time to add a template to the condition. From the list of available conditions, choose Run Condition Templates and then select the template you want to use. We'll use Review Approval for Service Support Template. Template name appears as the condition. We can repeat this action for all transitions where it's necessary. We forgot to publish workflow changes, so template remains inactive until we publish new versions of the workflow. Now we publish our changes to the workflow and then check the condition template. Review approval for service support template is now active. The last step is to connect user interaction for service support to our workflow. It requires the same steps as in the previous template.
We can mix templates in normal conditions as well as we can use more than one template in a single transition. Now all three templates are active. It's easy to track where we use each template with a list of transitions in which it's being used. Take a quick look to validator and post function templates. They're similar to condition templates. Validator templates allow you to define reusable sets of validators to be used across workflow transitions. Saving this demo time, we previously defined and activated two templates. It's easy to define user-friendly validation error message for each template. It may contain subsequent error messages from underlying validators. Validator templates bring new amazing functionality to Jira. It allows to create grouped or conditional validations. Now you can create or like transition validations. It's also possible to inverse validator results by clicking the exclamation icon. Workflow Powerbox brings a bunch of conditions, validators and post functions. Now we can use run condition as validator mixed with universal date time condition. Please refer to plugin documentation to get the full list of features. It's also possible to use template in template pattern. Just use another template as a normal validator. Recursive calls are detected by template manager. Let's take a look at some more features. It's time to use our validator template in Jira workflow. Just select transition and add template as a simple validator. Post function templates allow Jira administrator to define reusable sets of post functions. Post functions within template can be rearranged the same as in Jira workflow transitions. Workflow Powerbox delivers a lot of post functions extending Jira's capabilities. In our case, we're using condition-based post function combined with only reported condition and add fixed comment post function. Now it's time to start your free trial from the Alassian Marketplace.